Good morning, guys. I'm outside enjoying my coffee. No Baileys this morning, just a <laughs> regular coffee. And the thing that is on my mind is vacation. Now you might be thinking, well, yeah, she's on vacation, but I'm really not. I mean, I'm here and it's beautiful and I am, I needed this break, but I am still working. And today I'm working quite a bit. So I'll start at 7.30 and I'll get done about 7.30 tonight, which it's not a bad day. A lot of it is work that I absolutely love doing and I'm actually looking forward to it. Still, I'm I'm not taking the time off. Now that was part of the plan when we decided to come up here that I would work from here remotely and there's a couple days I'm working a lot less than that. But it got me thinking, how do entrepreneurs take vacation? Like I kinda don't know right now. I started my full-time entrepreneur journey in August and I will tell you when I was in corporate I was really good about when I took vacation I really took vacation. Now I'd still peek at emails, but I didn't work. I didn't respond to emails. I took time off and it made such a difference for me. As an entrepreneur, I'm not quite sure how to do that for a couple of reasons. One is you want to make sure your business is moving forward, especially when you're a solopreneur, right? There's no one else there to do it for you. And like today, I got uh, a, a reach out from my website from a group in Singapore. I've done some work for that group here in Phoenix and, and they're looking for some support. Um, if I let that sit for a week or two, I don't know if I would be there when I got back. And then the other thing is most of my work is not that passive or semi-passive income. I do have some and I'm really working on building that part of my business. But right now it takes me working to keep the money coming in. So it's hard to say, I'm not gonna work for two weeks and then I'm not gonna make money for two weeks. Now I do have some time coming up in October and I'm really gonna try to take at least a couple of those days completely off. I'll be away from home for a little over two weeks with my husband, I'm going to a sleepover, which is so cool. It's a group of business women who get together to help each other grow their business, solve problems, make new friendships. And we stay two nights at a location. Uh, this year we are staying Friday and Saturday night up in Gatlinburg and I'm so excited. This group of women is amazing. And yeah, it's a little bit work, right? So we'll get there Friday, we leave Sunday and there's a lot of work involved, but it's a different kind of work. So it's much more energizing and connecting and then we're visiting family for two weeks on the back end of that. And I would love to take the whole two weeks off right now. I just don't see how that's possible. So I'm going to plan some days off in there. So I am curious if you are an entrepreneur, how the heck do you take vacation? Cause I certainly have not figured this out yet. Um, love what I'm doing. I feel so grateful to be here. You guys can see it's beautiful. It certainly is good for me to get a break from being in my normal place. And it feels very vacation-y, I must say. We've gone to dinner, we've done some hikes. It's, it's been very refreshing. But how do you actually take like the whole week or two weeks off? So if you're an entrepreneur, please let me know. And just know if, uh, if you are struggling with that, you are not alone. <laughs> I'm right there with you. All right, guys, that is what is on my mind today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow morning.